Hi, I'm Gustavo Navarro. And I'm Jesus Ayala. Sometimes we think of pumps as relatively simple machines that just start and stop. Other times they can be a headache due to failures in mechanical fuel, bearings, and frequent change of internal parts. The reality is that centrifugal pumps are turbo machines that involve a significant level of complexity. And how they are installed, operated, and maintained have a huge impact on the running costs of a plant. Different studies show that around 25% of the energy consumed by electric motors goes to pumps. Moreover, in a plant with intensive use of liquids movement, pumps can make more than 50% of the electricity bill. Let's do some experiments with centrifugal pumps driven by advanced controllers and calculate the energy saving we can get. Here we have two centrifugal pumps connected in parallel and controlled by two intelligent pump smart controllers developed by ITT Gulf Pump to minimize the total cost of ownership. These ones correspond to the PS220 model, our most advanced low voltage intelligent pumping solution. Here we have a pump running at maximum speed, 3450 RPM, with a discharge valve completely open. The pump smart logic calculates the flow through the pump without using external sensors. In this case, measuring 17 GPM. This can be checked with a flow meter, which shows a very similar value. Imagine the actual process requires a flow of 10 GPM. Normally, we will partially close the control valve until this flow is reached. In doing so, we see the power consumed is 3.4 HP. What will happen if we do the same by regulating the speed instead of throttling the valve? We place a 10 GPM set point and leave the valve completely open. Now that the pumps are delivering the desired flow automatically, we see the power consumed is 3.18 HP. When comparing the consumed power in both cases, a saving of 0.22 horsepower is calculated. With the purpose of better appraising what it means, let's multiply our power values by a factor of 100. At 0.08 cents of US dollar per kilowatt hour over 8,000 hours of operation in a year, our saving would be $10,500. It means, it means PumpSmart would pay for itself in the first three months of operation. In addition, in this application, PumpSmart manages to control the pump by flow and maintain the required value without using external sensor. Right there, we have already a significant saving. Let's now look at two pumps running in parallel. Here we have two pump smarts coordinating the operation for a multi-pump constant pressure application. We enter a discharge pressure set point of 15 psi. The pumps operate at slightly different speeds, around 3,400 RPM, but both operate at around 74% of the BEP. Just as the pumps mark measure the flow rate without using sensor, they also show the relationship with the best efficiency point. Ideally, both pumps should be close to 100% and delivering the same flow. Two pumps can be new, manufactured at the same time, and still have between 5% and 8% difference in dynamic height at the point of design, and up to 20% with the block discharge. Pump Smart does something unique. It managed to compensate for an equal performance, and balances flows between pumps, obtaining the required pressure set point so up to six pump smarts can talk to each other and control a large pumping station. By balancing loads and approaching the BEP at each pump as much as possible, pump smart does something unique by going beyond simple automation and variable speed control. It maximizes energy savings and reliability. Let's now run both pumps independently at about the same speed as before. 3400 RPM. Now we see that at the same speed, 
the performance is definitely not the same. One pump runs at 74 and the other at 54% of BEP. This is what we will see using a standard variable frequency drives. There is a big difference with the overall performance obtained by pump smart drives. In fact, the conventional approach to automate a multi-pump station using soft starters, a PLC, and a control valve not only is more expensive than simply purchasing pump smart drive and a butterfly or gate valve to open close the system, but also it would be much more complicated as it represents a small engineering project by itself. To talk about all the control capabilities of PomoSmart and its impact on savings and reliability will be very extensive for this video. However, we don't want to finish without showing the protection of mechanical seals by avoiding dry run operation. The pump is running and we close the suction valve. After a few seconds, we see how the pump smart detects the absence of liquid and stops the pump. Here we see the dry run fault. Thank you very much for watching this video. And not hesitate to contact us through ITTProServices slash contact us for more information. You can also go to ITTMC.com or GoodsPumps.com.